Well, on the topic of the Masters, we all know it's time for one of the most highly anticipated golf tournaments of the year. The iconic event is already underway in Augusta, and who better to give us all of the insight than Mike May. He's the editor-in-chief of Indiana Golf Journal. So, Mike, thank you so much for being here with us it's a pleasure. today. I have a great passion for the Masters, and I've done lots of research, and I probably know more than the average bear. Yeah, I know that you've kind of co coined yourself as a Masters connoisseur. So, tell us about some of the unique things that you know about the Masters that people at home just may not know about. Well, first of all, parking is free. Uh, if you're going to go to the Masters, wear comfortable shoes because it's very hilly. The TV <laughs> actually sort of makes things rather flat. So, uh, uh, and also, the, the food is incredibly inexpensive and very mm -hmm. good. Pimento okay. cheese sandwiches for $1.50. Potato chips for $1.50. Uh, a bottle of water for two. So for lunch, for five bucks, you can have lunch. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, other aspects of the Masters that are unique, uh, the green jacket, which is given to the winner every year. That tradition started in 1949 when Sam Snead was first given the jacket after winning, but the tradition of wearing the jacket started in 1937 with members. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, if you look at those jackets, it has a brass button. On each brass button is the miniature logo of the club. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You always are really, you're really bringing us some unique facts here yeah. that some people at home may not know about. And you know, a lot of our viewers are from the Midlands, have lived here for decades, maybe. But a lot of people maybe just recently moved here, maybe military families as well as some of our viewers. So for people who might just not know a lot about it, explain the significance of this event. Well, uh, the roots are quite interesting. I found this out just recently. Back in the early 30s, uh, Bobby Jones uh, and his business partner Clifford Roberts petitioned the United States Golf Association to host the U.S. Open at Augusta to show mm -hmm. off this new club. The USGA, in its infinite wisdom, said no. So what did Roberts and Jones do? Well, they started their own tournament. Okay. Start, it was called the Augusta National Invitation Tournament. Clifford Roberts wanted to call it the Masters Tournament from the beginning. Bobby Jones said, no, that's too presumptuous. <laughs> But by 1939, Jones said, you know what, we'll call it the Masters. And it's been that way ever since. So uh, it was meant to be something else, and it turned out to be something even better. Okay, so you've obviously brought a few things here. Yes. Show us what's here. Uh, anything and everything in the world can be made with the Masters logo on it. <laughs> uh, cups. Uh, these are souvenir cups that people drink beer or soda pop or, or iced tea out of. Uh, Masters has its own bottled water. Uh, they're very into branding. Of course, uh -huh. there are many different styles of hats. Not everything is green. This is a two-toned hat. Uh, master's socks. Everyone needs socks. Uh, master's golf balls. Master's belt. And this is probably my favorite. The Master's postcards. Okay. Eight for $12. The photography is brilliant. You send this to a friend, they'll think that the... Uh, they actually went to the tournament. It's something they will always cherish. So uh, the Masters, and also the prices are very affordable. Mm -hmm. It's not extortionate. Uh, this shirt that I'm wearing uh, was less than $80. Wow. So it's uh, quite reasonable. They make most of their money off the TV deal with CBS. Mm -hmm. um, also, they, uh, the food is inexpensive. The items are reasonable because the patrons are considered friends mm -hmm. and you don't take advantage of your friends. Yeah, so, that's a really good mantra there. Yes. That's the well, I know that you have such an extensive knowledge um, really covering this and learning about it. Have Tell us about some of your experience with the Masters. What's a, a fond memory of your coverage? Well, I was there yesterday. Uh, the Par 3 tournament is always on every year on the Wednesday, and it's very family friendly. Uh, the, 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 the fans can yell and scream and get excited. Mm -hmm. uh, just the color of the grass is an amazing hue of green. And uh, they have resources that most courses don't to make a, a place that was once a nursery absolutely beautiful. Uh, all the holes have a name after some type of foliage or shrubbery. Uh, mm -hmm. I've memorized the back nine. It starts with uh, camellia, then white dogwood, and then 12 is uh, golden bell, azalea, Chinese fir, firethorn, redbud, nandina, holly. Wow, Mike, you really know it all. Yeah. Wow, I'm that's really That's the back impressed. nine, and that's what everyone sees on TV, the back nine. So you really need to know the names of the holes so you can really, you can win those trivial pursuit mm -hmm. contests. Yeah, now I'm gonna, now I have a, another feather in my cap. Right. So thanks to you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. And now hopefully you know more about the Masters than you did before. Well, stick with us. We'll have more, we'll have more midday coming up right after the break.